Hi everyone, welcome to the Brad and Kyle channel and in this video we're going to give you one game changing tip to hooking a bowling ball. Stay tuned. All right, so there's all different kinds of ways we can hook a ball. And when we say hook, like if you were to say you were hooking a bowling ball, technically if it hooks from 10 to 11, that is a hook ball. But what I want to talk about is like the mega hook. And Kyle is really good at it. So we're going to get his word here in a second. But the thing about the mega hook, I mean, I'm talking where you get like way left and you're almost you're probably lofting over the gutter and, and stuff like that. The way we do that properly is you have to be loaded and then you have to have slow ball speed. And let me elaborate. When your arm, when you're playing straighter and you're, you know, kind of funneling the pocket in the straight angle, it's okay to have your arm a little straighter, long through, elongated, you know. You can't have that when you're hooking the ball. You know, this like kind of long finishing position that the straight guys like to do. I mean, this is never going to make a ball go like this. It's going to make a ball just go down there, especially when your hips are angled away from the head pin. So we have to figure out a way, well, how can we get our ball speed so much slower and then also to get our ball to rev before it goes too far down the lane? The thing is load. And I heard John Daly say it in a golf video one time. He goes, no matter how you swing, there has to be load. And I'm like, oh, that makes so much sense. But I still have no idea how to actually load or w properly, right? Well, it's the same way in bowling. And we're going to try and teach you. So the load in bowling has to do with like the elbow. And we see all the pros. Watch all the pros. Uh, they all have high rev rates. They get here. And then you see their kind of elbow coils, what we call it, bend, whatever. And then at release, it uncoils. That bend and elbow um, allows their wrist to kind of get under the ball a little better. So it's here. And if this elbow was to stay straight, you wouldn't be able to get your hand under, you know. But a second I bend this elbow and bring it up, I can get my hand under it again. And that is essential to hooking a bowling ball. And who are the, in the, in the PBA in the world right now, who are the best at hooking the ball? two-handers. And why is that? Because when you take your thumb out, your hand gets under the ball more naturally. So in terms of hooking a ball, they're very hard to beat. In terms of playing straight, not so much. The, the straighter, low rev guys do that. But when hooking a ball it has to be low, your arm and hand have to be under the bowling ball. Yeah, it's no secret that when getting power and you look at all the guys that get a lot of power, you know, a lot of them do it naturally. They might not focus on this elbow bending. But if we look at all of them in slow motion, we will see that they all have bent elbows, they're all loaded, and they're all under the ball. And there's, that's no coincidence. That is the power position that you need to somehow get in. You know, there's different variations. You know, two-handers -hander, two -handers have the ability to really bend the elbow. It's harder as a one-hander, but, you know, I've heard people say, oh, you don't bend your elbow or don't teach that. I'm like, well, here's the thing. You can do it, you can not do it. But if you want more power, you have to get in a loaded position to be able to coil. And we talk about trying to do that. For me, when I'm able to really feel like I'm able to hook the ball, stay under it, I will have the feeling of I'm loaded here, and then I am very clean and fast when I'm unloading. And the, the difference is we're not talking about grab and the ball going up. That's when I'm bowling bad if the ball is getting hit up on. We don't want that. We don't want the ball coming up this way. It's all about getting here, getting loaded, and then a fast, clean. When you, when you say fast, you mean you're getting your hand it's whipping quickly. Like you're getting it out of your hand very, very right. fast. I feel like I get into a position where I feel like I'm strong here and then I'm accelerating. So I'm not like, it's a, it's tough. You have to, it's a fluid motion, but I'm not decelling and I'm not being lazy. I'm accelerating like an athletic position would be. And I'm trying to get my hand clean and fast out of the ball. Yeah. So since you're accelerating and your arms loaded, if your hand or if you're accelerating in general and you're, and you're not loading your hands in, it's gonna go 60 feet. But because he's so good at getting loaded, if he was to get really loaded and not fast, right? Let's say he doesn't get it out of his hand quick, 
That ball is going to hang in his hand a little too long. The revs are going to decrease. The pin action is going to decrease. So he's talking about getting super strong and loaded with the elbow like this, and then getting it out of the hand very fast. That was weird. That was awesome. <laughs> but I, uh, so here's a drill for you guys. So when if you want to learn what it feels like, I mean, first you should learn what it feels like just to have a little bit of load. We're not talking about getting right here and just cranking on it. But I want you to feel like, well, how is it to have a little bit of a bent elbow and then an uncoiling of the elbow to generate that rev rate? So take the ball and just don't even have an approach. Go up, just go up to the foul line and then just kind of feel what it feels like to kind of lift the ball a little bit. You're going to have to use your muscles, obviously. When you're in an approach and everything's flowing, you use way less muscle. But if you're just standing here, you need to kind of figure out what it feels like to have a bent elbow. And then as you follow through, then it just comes off your hand. That's going to strike, Kyle. I hope that strikes. No, that took too much. Um, but no approach. Very basic, very easy. Just take a ball, kind of bend the elbow a little bit, carry it, and then go up there and throw it. And feel what it feels like for your elbow to go from a bent position to an unbent position. And then do that over and over again until you can filter it into an approach. All right, guys, those are a few tips on loading, coiling, whatever you want to call it. It's not the end-all, be-all, but it is the position that a lot of power players get in. And we're not saying you got to go out there and crank that elbow all the way up here and be unloading as hard as you can. But if you watch all the players, and that's what we try to do, if you watch all the good players and the positions that they get in, it'll tell you a lot about what you have to do to create some of the same power and results that they get. Yeah, and if you go in and practice and one time you over-exaggerate, get it all the way up here and just do that, that's okay because you're working on it, you're teaching yourself what it feels like, and you're going to realize like, oh, wow, I have so much more rev rating compared to speed and my ball looks so much more. It's amazing. So make sure you get in there and practice it. Hit that like and subscribe. And also, if you guys are looking for more coaching, more private, personal, we have a Brad and Kyle membership with our coach, Daniel Puerto. It's a private Facebook group where we're all in there every day working to get better, talking about bowling things. So make sure you check that out if you're looking to get better at bowling. We'll see you later.